What's good guys, we're back at it again with another video. As you see from the title, today we have a Jerry Easter breakdown. I know you guys probably don't know who this is. I didn't know who it was at first. This is a 6'5 point guard class of 2025. And, you know, I tell you guys, you know, I put my, my Instagram and my videos, I'll put it right here from time to time so you guys can DM me if you have like questions or like certain questions or you have players you want me to watch. So shout out, bro. I'm going to put the DM right here, bro. DM me and said, you know, my teammate, Jerry Easter, he's going to be a top five player in 2025. But uh, ESPN didn't put him on the rankings, you know, 24-7, I don't think had him on any rankings, but he is that, he just isn't known about yet. So I did my little research, I'm looking him up, searching him up on Twitter, YouTube, da-da-da-da. The, these past sessions, I'm seeing he averaged like 27, 8, and 6. I'm seeing he done already picked up X amount of offers this past these past sessions. So I'm like, okay, you know, let, let, me, let me look a little bit. I just watched a little bit. I watched a little bit, a couple highlights just on YouTube, things like that. And I'm like, okay, like, okay, we, we definitely, we definitely have to do a breakdown on this kid because this is my real introduction to him. This is probably you guys is also like your first introduction to Jerry Easter, you know, because from what I just saw from that little bit, this might be a name you might be hearing for some time. I'm not going to hold you guys up any longer. Jerry Easter. Jerry Easter is extremely comfortable with the ball in his hands. Once he's going downhill, he can change speeds at will and get wherever he wants on the floor. He looks great in isolation situations because of his first step and ability to change directions on a dime, creating space for himself and his shots. Jerry's game isn't just limited to inside the paint or in the mid-range area, though. When in rhythm, he can knock down threes from the perimeter as well, whether it be on this possession with a hand in his face and 1-3, Bucket or on this next possession when given time and space, Jerry's range extends far beyond the three-point line. Just wanted you guys to see here, this is next level wiggle and shiftiness by Jerry, being able to get around his defender even with the intense defense. Even though they didn't convert on this possession, he still got his teammates an open look. Great patience here on the pump fake, letting the defender fly by. If you give him an open look at the rim, there's a good chance he's going to knock it down. Another example of great patience getting to a spot, he has good touch around the nail, whether that be a pull-up or a floater. Jerry's handle allows him to legitimately get wherever he wants to on the floor, and this is a tough finish in traffic. This player is extremely hard to guard in one-on-one -on -one isolation situations. Again, his change of direction and handle allows him to get by defenders and easily finish at the rim. As I said before, he does a good job picking his spots in transition. Again, great touch here around the nail on the floater. And even on this next possession and transition, if you don't stop him because of his jumper, he can easily get to his pull-up. Jerry Easter, right? So, you know, I, I like to keep it completely honest on the channel. So I'll tell you what it, exactly what it was like when I first turned on the film, right? So I turn it on and I start watching and I'm looking for him. And, you know, at first when the clip started running, you know, I'm seeing a I kind of, he looks kind of lackadaisical, like he's not doing too much, like really looks like he's coasting. So then I go back on Twitter and I go to his Twitter. I'm like, okay, what number is he? Let me make sure I'm watching the right kid because what I'm seeing, I'm like, I don't know if, if what I just saw in the DM and what I'm seeing on Twitter, am I, am, I, am I sure I'm watching the right player? And then all of a sudden it just, it just, you know what I'm saying? It just kind of like shifted. And all of a sudden I'm seeing him start to attack things like that. And then I start to realize like this, from what I've, early on, like early on, when I started watching the game, it, it became obvious to me, like, this kid looks bored. This kid looks bored. And, you know, I feel like I have a, a track record. Like, I have the resume. I've, I've seen enough talent, played it, played around enough talent. And when I say talent, you know, because I was talented. I went D1. When I say talent, I mean, like, because people don't really understand. There really are levels, like an NBA-level athlete, a professional-level athlete. The talent level is it's completely different than a D1 bat. Like, it's not even close, right? So I've seen what a five-star looks like when, when you know what I'm saying, when they can literally just show up and drop 30. Like, I talk about it with Z. Like, it kind of opened my eyes when I thought I was pretty good when we got a 15-year-old that just show up, drop 30, and go home. Or when I get to college and, and there's players like Brandon Goodwin and things like that, the, the gap is, is vast. So these guys, it's easy sometimes to... Like, every, everyone's experienced this. You might be playing against, let me just say you're in high school and you're playing against some middle schoolers or you're playing against somebody younger than you and you just kind of, bro, I know I can do whatever I want out here. I'm going to just kind of just chill a little bit. 
that's what I was looking at the first time I opened up the film with Jerry. But let's just get into his game, right? So like I said, like it was easy to tell from a from just from the jump, like okay, like he's he looks more bored than anything. Why does he look bored? Because right now at six five as a sophomore, kind of like with Cooper Flag, they're they're playing they they're playing fifteens, but they should be playing sixteen, seventeens. Yeah, they are that age, but their talent, physical gifts that they already have, like I said, he's already six five. It kind of doesn't match up with that age group, which is why he is kind of bored. And just his game as a whole, like this kid right now at the guard spot, like he has, he has the tools. Like you saw his handle, he can get to wherever, wherever, wherever Jerry wants to go, get to on the floor, he can get to. Like he can get to, and he has great pace, great change of speed. He can explode. And you saw with that handle, he has that wiggle, that shiftiness, right? So he can change direction at any point in time. So these players like that are extremely hard to you know, like to stay in front of. Like the way he moves, he moves kind of like Shea. You know, Shea that plays for the uh, Thunder, he kind of moves like Shea a little bit with that, with that type of wiggle, that type of shiftiness. It's kind of slow, but it's fast at the same time. Next thing you know, he's by you and he's on the rim. Once he gets to the rim, he showed you he has great touch. He can finish in traffic. He likes the little floater, little push shot around the nail. Uh, he can knock down the mid-range jumper. You saw it all over the floor. He can also knock down the three, whether that be set. He shot one of the three set deep. He show, he shoots pull-ups from three. Uh, from right now in 15s, it's looking like there's not much he can't do on the floor. He's really doing what he wants to. Like I said, he averaged, I think it was eight rebounds as well. Uh, so he's on the glass, six assists. Just wanted to show you guys, even though his teammates didn't convert that play, and a lot of the assists he, he'd have in the games were, they weren't, you know, uh, no look, something crazy, like, but it was more of, of, you could tell from the way he's playing, like he understands the game. He knows where the open man is gonna be and he just gets it there. He just gets it there. It isn't flashy, it isn't, oh, no look, this, this, and that. He gets it there, which is why he gets the assist. But at the same time with his handle, he's showing you why he can get everybody open. He can literally get anyone on the floor do cut him off, and that's what I mean, just that type of wiggle. He looked like it's more reactive than cone drips. It's like reactive. You reach here, okay, I'm, see, I'm, I'm spinning here, I'm doing this, this, and that. This is that shiftiness that I'm talking about that's really translatable. But for him, like I said, like you could tell right now, he's looking bored. When you average in what I say, 27, 8, and 6, it's, it's hard to get up for these games when you know the person in front of you is it, not really close. So I do want to see, you know, I do want to see him against some some older players just to see exactly, you know, just to really gauge, okay, how talented is he? It's not like with Cooper Flag where I'm looking at a six seven wing shooting, you know what I'm saying, shooting step backs, fluid, all this, this, and that. He already has the size or whatever. He is a little skinny, but I kind of want to see with with Jerry, okay, what is it? What does he look like against some older players or or at least some players that's actually gonna, you know, make him compete like make him actually have to get up for these games i want to see that but all in all like i said like the tools are there even at 15 the tools are there he's looking like his handles tight he can knock down all the shots he got great touch like i said it's early on so you can't put anything on him right now but i can't wait to see where he goes in the future like share subscribe turn on post notifications appreciate you guys watching remember people the one-on-one evaluations the subscriber breakdowns i can post it on the channel like these or this right here hit the website in the description Again, appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next time for the next video.